hello, hello, hello. So I hope you're having a great day today. So um, as you can see from the title, we're going to be doing May Favorites today. I've been trying to film this for like a week and one thing or another. I apologize for the background noise. I have my noisy air conditioning going on. Um, it's a window unit and it needs to be worked on, but I can't afford to have it worked on, so I have to deal with the noisy. So I hope you don't mind. It doesn't seem to overwhelm anything, it's just more of a background noise. But anyway, I will, as soon as I can get it fixed, I'll get it fixed, but you know, it'll be a while. Let, let's just say. <laughs> so. We'll go ahead and get started with my favorites. Um, I actually wanted to start off with a fail. And it's a food fail. Sort of. Um, this is the Chadwick Bay Coconut Water Beverage with Pineapple Flavor. It's 100% natural. And honestly, I don't remember where I bought this from or where I got this from. Um, but if you see this, run far because, oh my god, it tastes like medicine. Oh, it tastes like medicine. I can't stand it. I took one sip of it and it poured down the sink. That was it. <laughs> I can't deal with it. I can't, I couldn't deal with it. Now, I do have another couple of flavors that I have in my fridge that I want to play with, play with, try. I've got makeup on the brain. Um, the peach mango one is actually not that bad. So, it's so far the pineapple one sucks. And then another fail, and I didn't realize this. I didn't pay attention, I guess. Now, I'm wearing this today because I'm trying to use it up. But this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm sure you're very familiar with it. This is like the second tube I've had. And I have another one in my stash. Um, when I start using it, it's amazing. You know, I can build up and, and have great lashes. I just slapped on some really quickly. Um, but it doesn't hold the curl. At the end of the day, or even a few hours later, it's like my eyes were here, and now they're here. And for the amount that you would pay for this, I didn't pay that for it because I either, you know, I usually got them in kits. And when they're in kits, I'll use them, as long as they're not horrendously, horrifically awful. But, uh, see, that's the brush. But I just find it horribly, it's just horrible that, you know, something is, what, $19 a tube, and it doesn't hold a curl. So, I haven't tried any of their other mascaras, and I, I would definitely be interested in that, but this one is not, I still haven't found anything that I'd be willing to pay the money for. Um, I only buy high-end mascaras in kits. Okay, so on to the good stuff. First thing is blush. This is Stellar, and that is a Tarte blush, and we have a glare. Yeah. Anyway, I'm wearing that today. It is a nice, natural, kind of a bronzy color. It's very light for me. I have to kind of build it up a little, and I'm kind of fair. So, um, I don't know if there's something on top of it, but anyway see. It's what it's always been for me. So that's, and it, when I put it on and I am a little more fair. Now today I have a little more color because I used my Project Pan Foundation today, which is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. And it is a touch more than I am. And then I covered it over all over the face with my other Project Pan. Um, it's the Project, uh, what was it? It was uh, the Bare Minerals Skinny Dip Bronzer, and so I just used it as an all-over bronzer instead of just using it as, you know, regular bronzer. And then I decided to put this on. Now, I've worn this several times, and it's a pretty color. I've used it to contour with. I'm not too thrilled with it as a contour. Um, but as a blush, if you are slightly tanned, I, I don't know how well it would work if you were a dark skin tone but I really like it. I'm wearing it, like I said, today, and it just gives you just a little, just a little natural summery, summery kind of thing going on. So something tells me I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the summer. 
Okay, next thing is the Milani Marbleized Baked Eyeshadow Infusion. I am wearing that today. It is in my crease, and I also used it to smudge out my eyeliner. Um, as you as you probably know, I'm using Urban Decay Corrupt and Perversion. It's a dual-sided pencil in my project pan. Um, and every time that I use Corrupt, I, I smudge it out with this. But anyway, I'm wearing this. This is... Now, I only have two of these, and I love them both. But this is my favorite. So, it's just... There you go. And it's just a beautiful... As you can see, there's there's some burgundy mixed in there, some gold. There's some, When it all comes out, it kind of comes out like a bronze. But I love it. It is my absolute favorite. I, I don't think it's been out of my makeup basket very much. Um, as long as I have that, eye, that eyeliner in my project pan, this is going to be in my makeup basket anyway. But I just love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I definitely want to get more of these. Um, the next thing is, you've seen my current base routine, foundation routine, and I will link that below just in case you did not, uh, but this is my current favorite foundation. It's the only foundation that makes me flawless. Nothing makes me flawless, not since Bare Minerals a whole long time ago, and since, obviously, Bare Minerals is not cruelty-free, and I stopped using Bare Minerals a long time ago because I still say that Shiseido changed the formula, and it wasn't the same. But this is It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. It, I wear medium beige. Um, don't take, you know, use this as your guideline because this is how pale I really am. And this is me with, you know, the Laura Geller on, which bumps up the color a little. And I like, I completely love and adore the brush that it comes with. It's just a flat top kabuki, but you know I love flat, flat top kabuki. Um, the next thing is, this is Elf Single Eyeshadow from the Studio line, and this is in Pebble, and it's just a taupe. It's a, it's boring, I know, but I love this. I've been using it recently as a brow, brow, yeah, to fill in my brows, and it's great for that. It's absolutely perfect, it's neutral, it's not too warm, it's great. Now, this is a great shadow in general. I like it in the crease. I like it as a transition. So, yeah, this is $3. It's absolutely worth your time. The next thing is the nail polish I'm wearing. It's a little jagged and janky. Pay no attention to that. This is my favorite. I, I, I hope that Nails Incorporated is like this across the board. This was one coat, one coat opaque. <laughs> I love it. And it dried really, really fast. So this is Old Park Lane, and they're calling it a rose gold. I call it more of a rosy bronze. It's definitely, do you know of any other colors they have that are similar to this? Because dang them, they discontinued it. But I love it just the same. Okay, another food thing. I have a food favorite. This is Boca Original Chicken Veggie Patties. These are vegetarian chicken patties. As you guys probably know, I am vegetarian. I have been baking these and just making them with rice or pasta or whatever. I have not made them as a sandwich. I want to get the spicy ones and do them for a spicy chicken sandwich. But these are awesome. They are amazing. They taste like chicken. If somebody had not told me that they were, you know, if I didn't know, I would have sworn they were giving me chicken and, you know, and I would tell them, sorry, I can't eat that. So, if that tells you anything. I have two more things and then we're out of here. Um, this is a re rediscovered favorite. I actually had this kind of back to the back of my stuff. This is the Lip Exfoliator from e.l.f. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It smells and tastes like brown sugar. It's $3, and it exfoliates my lips, and I use it two or three times a week. Uh, Dagoba Mint, uh, available at ecolips.com. Tastes just like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I'm rushing because I'm running out of time. And then this has been my favorite. I'm wearing this today. This is my favorite little squeezy lip gloss. And the latest one I bought from e.l.f. back in December, I think. And this is, this is Honeydew. It doesn't have a lot of color. As you can see, it's just shiny. But that is my favorites. That, those are my favorites. And I hope you have a great one. Bye now.